Hi everybody, welcome to the Law Doc Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a review of Evan Moore's Daily Math Grade 2. We have officially been using this for about a month, and we are really, really enjoying it. So I thought I would come on here and give you guys a review, show you kind of how we're using it, and then tell you what me and Emily both like about it. So the first thing I did once I got the Evan Moore Daily Math Grade 2 book is ripped it apart. <laughs> Emily really, really enjoys when things are spiral bound, and I really, really enjoy when she does not have access to the answers. Now, the book itself is meant to be reproducible for a teacher, so I understand why it's all in one. Luckily, the pages are perforated, so it was really easy to just pull all the pages out. So what I did is took all of the answers, stapled them together, and put it in my office so only I have access to it. And then I made her an arithmetic cover. We are doing a year at Hogwarts this year. Everything is wizard based. So our math is called arithmetic. So I made her a cover and then I used my ProClick binding to spiral bind the pages. So that way it's easier for her to use it. It always lays flat. She can flip it back on itself. It just makes her happy. And it's such a simple thing for her to be happy. So I just do it. Now, the book did have this really awesome how to solve word problems printable, so I used washi tape to tape that into her front cover right there so she would have access to it all year long. And then it's really, really simple. It's never more than five questions a day. So you can see here week one, day one, it's just five questions. It's got a little bit of addition and subtraction, some ordinal number, some number sense, and a word problem. Some of the things I really like are that it has different varying things each day. So she's never really doing the exact same thing. And it also kind of spirals around and through different things. So you can see here we're doing some shapes, we're doing a graph, we're doing some time. It's always a little bit different. We're counting by fives and tens, doing patterns. So it kind of you know, per slowly progresses through different things. We're starting to get into fractions and it also spirals through those things. So it kind of comes back to them. This is something that you could see she did in week one. So it spirals through those things and I really enjoy that. Another thing that I really, really like is that almost every day includes some kind of word problem. Word problems are something that I find are very difficult, especially for my daughter. So I love that she gets just enough exposure to them to not frustrate her. One a day is more than enough. Now, some of the things Emily likes. She likes that it's short and sweet. She likes that there's never more than five questions. It's normally only half the page, except day five is a full page because it's always just a little bit more intense, but it's normally less questions because of that. So it's a you know, normally a little bit more intense thing, but there's less questions. You can see here there was only two activities. <clears throat> she enjoys that it's short and sweet. She enjoys that she can do it primarily independently, and she enjoys that she knows exactly what to do. It's simple. It's never, you know, something super complex. There's no prep work for her or for me. She can do this completely without me by just grabbing it flipping to the next one and completing it. And I don't think it has taken her more than five minutes yet. And like I said, we are a month in, but you can see here we are on week four, day two. So I don't line it up. I don't plan it out. We just do the next one the next day. So tomorrow when we do school, she'll do week four, day three, even though technically we're starting week five in our homeschool. And that's because we've had a lot of field trips and we've been sick. So we will just slowly work our way through this doing one a day. Now, another thing that I really like is that for the first time in a long time, she is actually looking forward to doing math outside of Life of Fred. She doesn't normally enjoy doing things besides Life of Fred um, or teaching textbooks. She, let me rephrase that. She doesn't enjoy doing math that requires her to write. For whatever reason, writing, worksheet, drill, and kill math frustrates her. I enjoy that she's getting just enough worksheet, drill, writing out math so that I know she can do it, but she's not getting frustrated. So it's something really, really great. 7 plus 2 equals 9. 8 plus 4 equals 12. 9 
plus 4 equals 13. What shape is this? A triangle, a square, or a circle? A circle. Circle the odd number. 5. Anton made a tally mark for each point he scored in a game. Look at the marks. How many points did Anton score? So, 5 plus 5 equals 10, and 5 plus 2 equals 7, so 10 plus 7 equals 17.